Hey everyone, this is Corin from the Speedycom team and I'm bringing you today a new tutorial in which we are going to see how you can display the stock in your Shopify product pages. You will find in the description of this video the link to the written tutorial where you will have access to the code that we will be using. Before we begin, I suggest you make a copy of your theme files, that way you don't lose your work in case you make any big mistakes. So it's fairly easy, all you have to do is click on actions, then duplicate. And once it's done, go back to the tutorial and let's copy the code. There you go, then once again we come back to the store, click on actions, then edit code. After that you will have to open the sections folder and find the product template that liquid file. Let's see, there it is. Once you've opened this file, you will have to look for the line that contains the word price. To make it easy, I'm going to use the search bar. So you can open it with Ctrl F or Command F if you're on Apple. So then you type price. You scroll a bit, let's see, there you go. You will have to find a line similar to this. If you're on debut theme, this is exactly what you need. But in most of the themes, that's going to look something similar. So once you've found this line, you will create some space and you will paste the code that you just copied. Then of course, always click on save. And now it's all done. Let me give you a quick tip before we continue. If you're not sure where you have to place the code, you can try to add a random word somewhere in the code itself. So let's say, I don't know, you add a word here, you just add test or whatever you want. Then you will have to go to your product page and see where that word is displayed. If the word is exactly where you want to put the stock, then you have to just replace the word by the code. If it's not, then you keep trying until you find the exact spot where you want to add the code. So right now I know I have added it to the right place. So we are going to go to the product page and see how it looks. All right, so let's open the store and find a product page. There you go. And you can see that I have displayed the leftover stock exactly where I wanted it to be, right underneath the price. And to finish things up, I'm going to show you how we can add a couple of customizations. So for example, you go back to the code itself and here you can change the text. You can see there are, then there is the quantity and then units left in stock. So you can customize this text however you want. And of course, aside from the text itself, you can change its color by modifying this color code. You can change its font size. This is the font size. You can change the spacings. You can change the icon itself. This is the source of the icon here. This is the link, you can change it with any icon you want. And I think this is pretty much anything you can or need to uh, modify. This is a fairly easy tutorial and you will have something really cool that will display the stock left. I should, I think, remind you that this is not really useful for dropshippers because in most cases, dropshippers don't have any stock. So it's, I don't know if you can, if you want to show any scarcity, maybe you can use this, but you will have to manually change your stocks in the product uh, files. All right, so this is it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If that's the case, please like the video, maybe leave us a comment if you have any ideas for other tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we will be adding a lot more tutorials in the coming weeks.